Hello, welcome back to the Quarterback Film Room. This is your host, Brian True, and we're breaking down the uh, 18th best quarterback here, Ryan Tannehill of Miami. Okay, Ryan's got a tremendous skill set. He's a former college wide receiver, so he's a tremendous athlete, and he's been groomed in Bill Lazor's system down in Miami for the past year or so. And he uh, has high end athleticism, he's got a strong arm, and he makes things happen out of structure. So there's a high ceiling with Tannehill. But he's not a PhD level peer passer just yet. So we head back to last year against the Bears, and we'll see Ryan throw a route to Charles Clay here out of the pistol set, where he sees it clearly. It's defined by Laser's uh, concept, and he hits him in stride. This is showing Tannehill at its best from at his best from the pocket. So obviously the Bears are really worried about Ryan running steps up and he throws with the requisite touch and arm strength there all right so then later on we head to detroit um and ryan shows an ability to improvise get out of the pocket create and find a guy downfield for a strike okay again this is what ryan really has has a strong sense of how to play in terms of creating, using his athleticism to make plays down the field, either with his legs or with his arm, as we see here. Then we go back a little bit to the Packer game. And we'll, we'll see two plays. The first play is Tannehill taking the ball um, on the quarterback keeper, showing his elite speed and up the field burst to get up that shoot and the run for like 35 to 40 yards. Not many quarterbacks in the league can do this. Ryan can. Again, the former college wide receiver um, coming out shows here on this play. And then we head to a red zone throw against Green Bay. And we'll see touch and anticipation from the red zone. It's actually something that he's okay with at times, but he's still inconsistent with his timing and touch. Anybody, he, he gets the job done here. The one flaw that I will uh, talk about Tannehill, uh, the the flaw that he has is he isn't a great thrower outside the hashes on outbreaking routes with accuracy. He's He does not throw accurately outside the numbers on outside breaking routes. Okay, Sometimes Tannehill is a see-it-throw-it guy, and I think a lot of that stems from his ability to use his legs and he's never really had to sit in the pocket and use his arm and use all these subtleties of the position to make sure that he's throwing to spots so whenever he throws interceptions or he has inconsistent play it's because of he sometimes he has to be a see it thrower now he's getting better with that see it drill it you know sort of a thrower um but yeah all in all he comes in at 18 he's got a lot of potential he uh, ranks just behind or i should say just ahead of guys like like uh Derek Carr and Teddy Bridgewater, 